Almost 52 million people living within 20 kilometers of Europe's busiest airports are at risk of poor health due to ultra-fine particles released when jet fuel is burnt. Now, this is according to a report commissioned by Brussels-based think tank Transport and Environment. A total of 280,000 cases of high blood pressure, 330,000 cases of diabetes and 18,000 cases of dementia may be linked to UFP or ultrafine particles inhalation among people living close to 32 European airports. Now, the tiny particles, which are a thousand times smaller than a human hair, penetrate deep into the body due to their size, reaching internal organs. The reports say the release of UFPs varies according to the composition of jet fuels, which can have different levels of aromatic compounds and sulfur. But how can this be solved? While the aviation industry remains dependent on jet fuel derived from fossil fuels, the report recommends that legislators require fuels to undergo a refinery process called hydrotreatment. This method uses hydrogen gas to remove impurities and is already used for road and maritime fuels. The process can reduce sulfur and aromatics at an estimated cost of less than $0.054 a litre and uses less than 10 kilograms of hydrogen for a ton of jet fuel. The report says that both the World Health Organization and the EU recognize the effects of UFPs on health. The EU's Ambient Air Quality Directive requires the mandatory monitoring of UFPs by member states and highlights airports as air pollution hotspots. However, neither the WHO or the AAQD places limits on the concentration of UFPs that aviation companies can emit. The report's authors call on policymakers to take steps to reduce the increase in air traffic and its pollution by banning further expansion of airport infrastructure, introducing flight caps and increasing taxation of the aviation sector. They say member states should also increase UFP concentration testing and introduce reduction targets. The EU should further introduce a new jet fuel standard which reduces permitted levels of sulfur and aromatic in fuels over time.